Hello YouTube. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing my 1997 Camaro Z28. Now first off, let's just take a little walk around the vehicle. Let's see how it looks. Now this car looks really, really mean from some angles, but some of them, there's a little to be desired, but overall I think the car looks very, very clean. Especially in this white and black two-tone. I love the way it looks. Now the cars look really mean from the front at certain angles. Like head on, if you look straight down, they look very, very nice. Now let's take a quick look at the inside of the car. Mine has a, I believe it is a flame red cloth. And it's also got 30th anniversary insignias on all the seats. So the interior of it is pretty nice. I've got some stuff in the back there but looks good storage space in this car you've got little you know as uh subaru wrx fan would say little cubbies there and you now you've got a standard size glove box another cubby over there and a center console right here you get one cup holder a little storage box here which is kind of a little broken in mine and you also get a cigarette lighter and another little hole right there now, you, now, most of these have a radio, but mine does not. Now, let's take a quick look at the gauges. As you can see, if you're a fan of my channel, you know that my temperature gauge wasn't working for a while. Got that fixed. As you can see, it's warming up. Right now, also got all the, the electrical issues with the blinkers figured out, so that's good. AC and heat work. Really simple controls, which I love that. Now, my Camaro course has the LT1 since it's a 97 but it has a Magnaflow cat back. Here's a look under the hood at the LT1 engine. This is one if you've watched my channel at all you know that I built this with myself and it runs smooth. I've got like 3,200 miles on it right now. Built it back stock which again this is my first fast vehicle so Nowadays, I would build it with a cam and heads and stuff, but it's pretty quick for what it is. All right, now that we're inside the car, let's take it for a brief little drive. Um, now, this car makes factory 285 horsepower and 325 foot-pounds of torque out of its 5.7 liter LT1, which that is respectable number even in the modern day I consider that pretty respectable this car is quick through all the gears this one is an automatic four-speed transmission 4L60E it's got 2.73 gears so they are highway cruisers second gear will no joke get you up to 95 in this car love the way that exhaust sounds This is honestly a pretty smooth car. Now, of course, being a fourth generation Camaro, it's 21 years old. I mean, just that camera a little bit, maybe I can see better. All right, guys, I got the camera fixed for you. Maybe you can see better. But I believe, as I was saying, uh, for a 20 year old car, you know, it handles pretty good, pretty smooth, um, a little rough, but most vehicles back then were rough. Steering is a little loose. Now I know that could just be another sign of age, but also hear that these cars wander over the road, you know, a lot, which this one does. This one's no exception to that, where you have to hold on to the steering wheel. But, you know, suspension's smooth. As you can hear, the car runs very well, which is surprising to me considering I built it. And the brakes in this car, they're. They're okay, they're nothing to write home about, but they, they stop you whenever you need to stop. But there's nothing special about them. In fact, one of my old trucks may have possibly had better brakes than this, and it was a V6. All right, getting on a little road here. Let's do a little acceleration, shall we? spun in first in first in an automatic Camaro <laughs> this car is 
fun. I love it. I love driving it. Every time I drive it, honestly, I love it. And right now, it is my only vehicle that for the past month it's been. So, luckily, it's been pretty reliable. Um, little issues here and there. Like, right now, I've got... Whenever the car first starts, even after just sitting for about 10 or 15 minutes, it's got a little exhaust leak, what it sounds like to me. It sounds like it's coming out of the passenger side header or exhaust manifold. But I just looked at it this morning, and you know how tight it is under these cars. I felt around, I felt all the bolts. It didn't feel loose or anything. It's just a small little leak that goes away. So someday whenever I swap headers, that should fix that. Now, honestly, I love this car's third and fourth gears. I really do. You can, you know, you can hear the V8 open up. Like here, I'll put it down in fourth, and you can hear it. You hear that? The third. That's a gear. I use this website I love called automobilecatalog.com, which has tons and tons, just about every vehicle ever made. And you can see their configurations, gear ratios, their theoretical. It basically will take you through every spec of the car. And this one's third gear. It says it'll take you 160. First is like 52, second 95, third 160. So it takes three gears to get you through the limiter on this car with the 273s, of course. Now, one thing about this car, I work at a car dealership, so I drive a lot of cars on a daily, and a lot of cars that have a six second zero to 60 time. And honestly, this car, it really does feel faster than the modern day car that hits six seconds to 60. Now, of course, six seconds is pretty fast uh, no matter what, but this car generally feels faster. I think it's because of all of its torque that it has than the average car that you're gonna ride in. All right, guys, well, I just turned on to my road, so I hope you've enjoyed this review. I uh, hope you like the car. And hopefully this helps you make a decision on whether you're going to buy one or not. Or if you're like me and just like watching videos about your car. <laughs> Alright. Thank you all for watching, guys.